It's good. On a rescue. I if we kind of like just back it up and say, okay, we're coming in first due. The engine 312 rolls in. What's our responsibility? You know, certainly our, our responsibility, our number one responsibility is going to be uh, stabilization and fire suppression. So we got to have obviously uh, those jobs completed. Um, so we want to put people on those right away. Um, but number one, Basically what we're doing is we step off of the apparatus. What does the scene look like? Are you in traffic? Is traffic still flowing? You know, people paying attention, people aren't paying attention. All that stuff you gotta pay attention to to get off. You know, vehicle rescue, there's a lot of stuff going on. You gotta have you gotta have, you could end up with, with a medic, an EMT, and a cop inside the car and everybody else going on and we've seen it when we've had all the legs sticking out and it was a police officer who's inside the car with somebody. So it's kinda of understanding what you got when you get out. Um, you, get, you get a lot of reports going in, and in most cases, a lot of them, not necessarily wrong, but they're not exactly right. So when you get on scene, especially anybody who's riding the seat, is you got to get off and you got to find out what exactly do you have, you know? Do you have any additional patients? Um, you may have one in trap. You don't know if you got one under the vehicle, okay? Um, again, you, you're going you're to hear a lot of stuff. You're going to have several different stories going on of what people saw, so on and so forth. Was there ejection involved? Is somebody down in their bankman? Stuff that kind of we got to figure out relatively quickly when we get on scene. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, sorry, Washington. I see what you were saying there. And but it's funny when you switch sides, he did like. Oh yeah. Then make a relief cut in the bottom. Then another relief cut on the other side. We're gonna spread them. We're gonna to try to get this door to swing open plus it's still in that intact. Now keep in mind, when you're cutting B post, you always wanna cut the bottom post beforehand. You never wanna cut the top first because it's gonna take pressure away from the bottom. So you always want to make the bottom cut first.